Tonight, Calderwood looking for another spinning attack. She's starting to get a little narrow with her stance, and that's Valerie. it. Fight back, Valerie. Latoya runs out. Jojo Calderwood with a huge performance tonight. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Alexa Grasso. Alexa Grasso versus Joanne Calderwood. Hey, MMA fans of MMA Inside, hope you're all doing well. One of the best fights in women's flyweight is up and finally running on the way after being pushed on for so long. Finally, Joanne Calderwood will finally stand her ground against the young and rising star Alexa Grasso, which has been put on the cards for the end of this month. Originally from Scotland and now training in Las Vegas, Calderwood was scheduled to challenge Valentina Shevchenko for the UFC title in June 2020, but the fight fell through due to a Shevchenko injury. Joanne Calderwood has had many ups and downs in her MMA career as she started in the UFC as an undefeated run initially, but now has lost six times in the promotion. She is at the moment six and six in the UFC. She is coming off a split decision loss to Lauren Murphy in a title eliminator at UFC 263 in June. Her last win came against Jessica I at UFC 257 when she won the fight by a decision. By unanimous decision, Joanne! Jojo Calderwood. There is no doubt that Alexa Grasso is one of the top young women's prospects in the UFC. Back in 2016, it was announced that Grasso had signed with the UFC. She faced Heather Joe Clark at the Ultimate Fighter Latin America 3 finale. She won the fight by unanimous decision. Since that, she has had a roller coaster career as she had to go through some really tough opponents and had to taste a beat. In her last fight, she fought Grosso, faced Macy Barber at UFC 258, and won the fight via decision. Unanimous decision, Alexa Grosso! Rather than wait for the champ, Calderwood took a fight against Jennifer Maya and lost by a submission in August 2020. She's back in. Look at how the thumb is right now. The thumb of Calderwood being in the position is... is is allowing her to be able to twist and move. Oh, she straight now it's going to Huge performance! She is one and one in two fights since then. Grasso, who has a fight record of 13 wins to three losses and hails from Mexico, is coming off back-to-back -back wins against Ji Young Kim and Macy Barber. The 27-year-old is 2-0 since moving up from the 150-pound division. Calderwood and Grasso are considered two of the top flyweights in the division who have not yet fought Shevchenko. They are currently numbers 6 and 10 in the UFC rankings, respectively. A matchup many viewed as the next title eliminator in the UFC women's flyweight division won't be happening. Alexa Grasso, who has been forced to withdraw from her scheduled matchup with Joanne Calderwood at UFC Fight Night on November 20th, was replaced by Talia Santos in what was an incredibly short contest with Calderwood giving up to Santos in the very first round. MMA Junkie confirmed the switch with a person close to the situation, who requested anonymity because the UFC has yet to make an official announcement. UFC broadcast partner ESPN first reported the news. Calderwood is tagged at number 10 MMA Junkie Women's Flyweight Rankings, coming off a split decision loss to Lauren Murphy and a title eliminator at UFC 263 back in June 2021 and also from a recent replaced matchup against Talia Santos, where she abruptly crumbled in the arms of Talia Santos by a submission defeat. She has alternated wins over her past six fights and a loss on last outing, twice failing to secure a title shot in that stretch. While wins seem heavily in the favor of Grasso, it won't be surprising if Calderwood bounced back from her past outings, throwing an amazing performance after the incredibly tough road she had. Comment down below what you think about the fight and who is your favorite in the next fight between these two fighters. So that's enough from us today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the like button and hey, subscribe or subscribe. So I see you and your grandpa in my next video again.